Y'all, this is sad. Where my TV go? Walk in here. Where my rug go? Now your girl can't buy by the rules. What? It's dang there empty. All this stuff I'm throwing away. What's the dealio, Martilio? It's your boy, Josh Laurent, coming to y'all with another banger video. And you even see the TV is off the stand because this was a failed attempt. Right now, y'all, is the day I'm about to really put my legs to work. I'ma have no car. Please, someone come pick me up and take me to car meets this weekend, please. But y'all, right now, I am about to head up to No Limit, going up to LA because I gotta drop the baby AMG off. We have to pack everything. We tried to put the TV in there, but this TV too big, it didn't fit, so. Ugh. If you wanna buy the TV, hit me up, DM me on Instagram, or just hit my email also. But y'all, today's the day. The cars is gone, and this is all we have left. Honestly, someone can buy the gaming chair. Someone can buy my bed. This is a queen size bed, by the way. You can buy the bed. You can buy the desk if you want, but I don't care. I'm, I could probably just throw the desk out. You can buy the nightstand if you want. I don't care. I'm gonna just throw that out too. And one thing is, y'all been asking me like, Josh, you got any clothes that you don't want to bring? And you know what I'm saying? It, this looks so messy right now. But some of y'all was like, you got any clothes you don't want to bring? These two Yeezys, I don't wear these at all. So if anybody want to buy these off of me, I'm t I'm going for the love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I sell them for the love. If you want to buy these off of me, just hit me up, man. Just hit me up. I'll give you a fair price. It's like the size nine, nine and a half, whatever. While I'm out here, just hit me up. So, <clears throat> let me show you all the... Baby AMG, man, it's, this is actually happening. We just packed everything in there, my clothes and everything that I'm bringing. Here go my new fits and stuff, but I can put the shoes and stuff in the back in the bag when I leave. The only shoes I got left here are them two. And the ones in there that I'm wearing. You know, cool, slight fit. If y'all didn't watch the last video, go watch the last video. And then just t-shirts and hoodies. But that's about it, man. It's really happening. We really finna be out of here. Finna be back home. How you feel about that, Andy? Dude, it's the end of an era. No fake. We finna be gone, gang. You're gonna be like me. Call us for a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna be walking. Saint Squad, please pick me up. I'm gonna be walking. And I'm sick I couldn't take the mirror either. But, you know, slight fit check. You, you see the fit we got? You know what I'm saying? Because it's just a slight little... It's a slight little Friday. You know what I'm saying? So you can still look good. Still a little... Little chill fit, you know what I'm saying? The gray off the purple hit so crazy. I'm telling you, I'm getting my drip up. I'm getting my drip up to where I'm starting to know how what colors go together. Like, say this don't look crazy. Like, this just look hard. You know, we got white socks. So you got a white tee underneath. So, you know, a little white poke out, poke through the... You feel me? It would be crazy if I did purple socks, though. I ain't gonna lie, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Rate the fit today. Same squad, rate the fit. But anyways, before I get late, we gotta go. I'm gonna grab some AirPods too, cause I gotta ride in the lift. I am not talking to that nigga. And this is gonna be the last time y'all gonna see Baby AMG in this spot. Remember, last time you saw the Huracan, now Andy took the spot over. The last time you're gonna see Baby AMG in this spot. But wait till y'all see inside of this car, bro. Look at this. Hold on, look at this. Bro. <laughs> this car is literally packed. Wait till we get to some like daylight. And then you really gonna see something crazy. Y'all, look at all of this stuff. This is like when I left Cali the first time in a hurricane, bro. And the hurricane was packed. This is nuts, though, y'all. I literally threw, like, just clothes in here. And there's way more in the trunk. Like, it's a landfill of clothes, bro. Look at look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, stuff. So right now, y'all, we are heading to No Limit. Because that is where they pick up both the cars yesterday right so i guess it was like some miscommunication or whatever and yesterday the the whole uh trucking company called me like yeah we're here to pick up the car and they're not releasing it. i said yeah because i said pick it up tomorrow and she's like well uh the 
the so-and-so said it was ready today and stuff i'm like well i said pick it up tomorrow she's like well we can pick up one car and then come back tomorrow for the other one and i'm just like no why not just pick them up both at the same time and then like y'all know my history with like car shipping it hasn't happened in a while and we moved past that but like i want to see the car before it goes you know what i'm saying like i got to see my car before it leaves out so I'm like, just come back tomorrow. And then she got mad at me. The lady, the car shipping person got mad at me. Talking about, well, you you guys are wasting my time. And yada, yada. We'll be back tomorrow. No ifs, ands, or buts. And all this stuff. I'm like, bro, relax, dude. I'm like, what? Come on. It's not even my fault. Just y'all y'all on the communication tip. I said tomorrow that, like, she got mad at me. So I went and bought, uh um. I went and bought an air tag for this car. I got one in a big AMG, but I went and bought one for this one just in case because now the lady mad at me, but I think she'd be all right though, but still to be safe. But she was tweaking, bro. But anyways, we on the way to No Limit. That's where they picking the cars up, man. And yeah, baby AMG, last time in California. And I got something very special for this car too once it gets back. We got the whole build on the AMG and we got something special for this one when they get back home also so y'all just stay tuned subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out but we on the way man to la Transport truck supposed to be here. Where he at? I did not see no transport truck. They call me everything. Talk about we here. Like where you go? I don't see. You. Nowhere to be found. Like you know what I'm saying? Like where you at, champ? Where are you at? I don't know. We're going to get out and see. There's a transport trailer here. They call me everything. Talking about... They told me 10 a.m. Then they call me at 9. Talking about we here. I'm like, I'm 20 minutes away. So, okay, that's fine. Where y'all at? You feel me? I do not see them. We have made it to no limit, as you see. Luggage. Yeah. We are the only empty car. Huh? We are the only empty car. Wait, 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 say it again. We are only empty car. Oh. Only empty? Empty car. <laughs> it's not that much. Okay? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but that's okay. Nobody nobody told me I couldn't do it, so I did it before. There's so many. This is turning into a nightmare, so we got to move cars out the way so we can push that one out. This dude talking about you can't have luggage, you can't have clothes in the car. What you mean you can't have stuff in the car? I did it before. So I got that. Moving these cars out the way to get this out. And the thing is, the car... The AMG, I guess, doesn't move, so we need to put on dollies to put into the trailer. Oh, Jesus Christ, say it's quiet. Jesus Christ. Lord help me. Uh, he just said $50 extra charge to ship that, which, whatever, is $50 to get all my stuff there, so I, I don't care at this point. But all I know is if they wasn't taking it, then they would have wasted their time again. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, now okay, that one's good. Now we have to worry about this one over here. We have to worry about the AMG now and how to get the AMG out, push the AMG out, and push this on the trailer as well. This is probably the most stressful ever getting a car picked up has been. And you're dealing with foreigners. You know, Saint Squad, I'm not a racist or anything, but y'all know how it be. Can't never get anything good easy, Saint Squad. Anything good will never come easy, so 
One step at a time. This thing's sweet though. GTR. I remember I wanted a GTR. I still want to like one day Saint Squad as a side quest build, build like a wide body GTR. Like I would still be down to do that. Would y'all want to see that? Like in the future though. Comment down below and let me know. Well, he's about to drive that one down the street to the truck. I don't know where he parked that. He's somewhere down there. He walking. He getting his steps in today. You feel me? But anyways, he about to take that down. Baby MG is off to home. This one is settled. And now the hard part, like I said, is this one. So since what happens when the engine is seized, it literally freezes everything. It's like the electronics like boo-boo itself. So it freezes everything. The car doesn't move, it stays in park, it doesn't go in neutral. So obviously it needs to be on dolly to come out. So the good news about this is we switch every we switch in all the electronic stuff, whatever, to Mopar. We won't have to worry about that. That'll just give you all a hint skip it we're gonna get some good news we're gonna get some good news out of the struggle right now i need the help mom Jeez. <laughs> that dude probably like better, right? the junk messed up. This gotta come off for sure. Skip Newport Drip. Do not support Newport Drip. If you out here, you see them, you need a car, do not go to them because they the reason this happened to my car and they just ditched me, left me, and they ain't say nothing, nothing. I haven't heard from them in months. Skip Newport Drip. I do not support them at all that the reason the car is like this but every bad situation got a lot to happen for it to become a better one so i'm just trusting god process man we just gonna grind hard and that's where he gave me this plan from so we're gonna continue with it this thing on dollies he said he can get it in the truck so that is a good sign and yeah my baby well baby mg down there Big AMG will be back in Michigan once again. And yes, I know this uh, this yellow stripe, these yellow headlights, these are hideous. We taking all of this off once we get the performance lab back at home. Trust me, we that this all gone. And then it was so messed up. Look how empty this is right here. Cause they ripped out my whole like radiator and stuff too, bro. And CSF gave that to me. Yeah, that junk is foul, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We're not going to ponder on that, but yeah, so he's doing his inspections. I know the car is messed up. He's probably looking like Jesus Christ. I know, bro. Sorry. I know the car messed up. He's doing this inspections. Then he, we're going to get this loaded up onto the truck. We just found that on the car. Saint Squad, what y'all think that is? We literally just found that on the car. It was hiding like somewhere in the wheel. Y'all think that's a tracker or something? Y'all know I'd be paranoid, especially somebody mess up about some money. You get paranoid about stuff like that. This would probably be. Maybe he's sitting there thought he'd take the car back or something. I don't know. Newport drip shady. I don't know what that is, gang. 
Bro, probably put a tracker on here and it fell apart. Well, he come to Michigan. Oh my God, he gonna get hit by a battalion. You know, them, them green tips. You feel me? You can wear a vest if you want to. So how how am I playing around with you? I told you I put down that the car doesn't start. One of the cars don't start. No, the other one's fine. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, I didn't book through you, so you don't have to catch an attitude with me. I did not book through you. I'm you not, are just I'm, a transport I'm not, company. Uh, I'm okay. telling you, I'm telling you what I have done. I told you okay. my pickup date was today, and the car does not start. So you do not have to get upset with me because I did not book with you. What's wrong with her? Yeah, I called her. She said that if the car doesn't start, you guys won't be able to take it. But I just said that she could just put the car on dollies. Just put the car on dollies and then push it into the trailer. What's so hard about that? Hmm. Now I call him. What is wrong with that lady, gang? Like, I did not book through you, so why are you getting mad at me? I said, the car does not start to pick up today. It's not my fault. You putting all this blame on me, I didn't even book through you. You feel me? Just annoying, dude. So now she said, I can't take the car. She said, they can't take the car if it doesn't start. I'm like, why can't you just put it on the dollies and push it into the trailer? Like, what's so hard about that? You push it into the trailer, it gets there, we put it on dollies and push it out. Like, what, what's so hard about that? And then she going to catch an attitude with me and start blaming me. You play with my time. Ain't nobody playing with your damn time. What? What is wrong with them? They finna make me mad. I finna pop a, a, a vessel. Finna pop a van. So... Now, skip the problem, that happened. I'll wait to hear from him. So skip that. Now the solution is maybe just find another person who has common sense, who can speak English, and... Sorry. Hmm? I'm go. You gonna go? Okay. Well, can you take the other car off? Mm-hmm. Okay, so take the other car off and bring it back here. Bring it back here? Yeah. Because if you can't take that one, then you're not taking the other one. Hello? Yeah, you can't cancel both of them. No, I, if you're not taking the other one, then uh, you, 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 you have to take both of them. That's what, I, that's what I ordered. And the thing is, I don't appreciate you putting the blame on me and having an attitude with me. I don't like it. Okay, I'm not playing you. with you. Your car back, okay? Thank you. What'd you say? Alright, bye-bye. Wait, what'd you say? I'm sorry? Uh, I didn't hear you. Can you please repeat that? I asked you this morning. I gave you enough notices yesterday, okay? You came on time. And I asked yesterday, if it, why are you not releasing? You did not finish anything. And the, when you sign up to have a car transport, it asks you, do, does the car run or no? I said, the car does not run, the other car does. Like, I don't understand why. I don't have a contract with you. I don't want to talk to you anymore, okay? Thank you. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, can you take my car off? To Quebec? Yeah, take the car off and bring it back oh, here. Gosh. What is wrong with them? Or actually, I'll walk down with you.
Yeah, so you could just pull it off and then I'll take it from here. I uh, just waiting in the chain. I calling okay. in. Well, if you guys, because I ordered, have both of them. So if you can't take both of them, then I need my car back. I waiting in Jane. Just calling. Come on, I'm wasting your time. Then she's gonna say, I did not have a contract with you. So why are you blaming me? People, man. So you can't cancel that. You can't cancel that. You cancel another car when it's supposed to be two. But honestly, y'all, it's always a plan for everything. If it don't work out, then it's not meant to be. And that's for good reason. Because if something don't work out, then God is protecting you from something. So remember that and just keep your cool. But come on, man. This stuff is just unnecessary. Okay, well take the car off. You're calling in Jane. Huh? No, you Jane. take the car off the trailer. Take the car, if you're not taking the other car, no, you I, have to take the car off the trailer. I'm on the driver. You're only driver. Okay, I'm so on the delivery. Where's the car keys at? Uh, you calling in the Jane. Where are, the, where are my car keys at? Because we have, we are supposed to be shipping two cars. If you are not taking the other car, you cannot take this car. So take this car off of this trailer. This you calling in Jane. I'm not calling Jane. I'm telling you right here to take Why? this car off of this trailer. Oh, Why Jane? Because she is not listening. I am not in contract with Jane. I cannot talk to Jane. I am not in contract with Jane. So you have to take this car off of this trailer because you are not allowed to take this car. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. I'm only in delivery. Okay. I'm only so in driver. Take this car off the trailer. That's what I'm telling you. If you cannot take that car, you legally cannot take this one because that is not what the agreement says between a broker and you guys. You're calling Jane. Why would I call Jane? If you're right here, take the car off the trailer. Jane? No, I'm not. You are right here. I cannot legally talk to Jane. I am not in contract with Jane. I am not supposed to talk to Jane. You call Jane and tell her you're taking the car off the trailer because that is not in the agreement between you guys and the broker. <coughs> I'm gonna call you back, Mom. Okay, I am. I am. Don't play. Come on. Take the car of the trailer, gang. If you're not taking the other one, you ain't taking this one. Now I'm standing on Now I'm standing on business. Jane. What? How are you, Jane? The other guy uh, who made the contract with you is. Wait, say it again. You broke up. Okay, um, the guy uh, you made the contract with you is on the other line. We are doing a conference call about your car. Okay. Hello? 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 Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, what's, uh, are you Josh? Yes, I'm Josh. Okay, Josh, can you hear me, the other guy? Uh, try adding him into the call again. Because yo, I'm not gonna tell you this now. I told you before, when you're doing stuff like that, let me handle this shit. Because again, that's why I asked you, was they gonna take both of the cars with one of the cars working? Because Josh, I've been doing this. I know it doesn't work that way. So your fucking boy at OJ, he double booked your shit and put it on a boy to get the cheapest thing. So that's why he gave you that rate. Mm -hmm. So whoever was cheaper, Say okay, let me take that. But two companies took it. A company and whoever logistically is truly is. Um, they took it off to the board. They created the contract and everything in the contract is wrong. And your name is being logistically. It's wrong. Three cars is wrong. The price is wrong. And the pickup date is wrong. So everything that they was telling you second in was correct. 
Yep. So let me get this fucking touch with Sean. And see if he answered my call. You say he not answering your call, right? He didn't. He didn't answer the call. So they going So they just gonna take him. They not gonna drop the car right here. They just gonna take off. So what's going on is I understand your side, but I understand their side also because again they have a contract thinking that they were supposed to take the car yesterday. She said when she called you thinking you were logistic late. She told you that they'll take one car and then come back for the next one tomorrow. You told her that the car was in Orange County. And that you wanted both of the cars. So again, she's thinking that you are the distant links, a broker. Mm -hmm. So she's following what you're saying, but the contract is saying something else. The contract is actually saying that they were supposed to pick up three cars yesterday. When she spoke to you, you told her it's only two cars. She said, okay, never mind. So again, she's going by what her contract says. No. I'm gonna send you the contract and then you can see all of the mixed up shit. Evans, I believe you. I'm gonna just take your word. So they, so he not even gonna drop my car. That's messed up. How you gonna take my own pro property when I don't give you permission to? Because they made a contract. So what they're going to do is drop your car in Michigan. Where's the post? Thirty one. Oh my gosh, Evans. Yeah, and it was supposed to be what twenty twenty three hundred. Twenty three hundred, yeah. So they he can't drop my car right here. I'm taking the key off this I'm taking the key off him. What she need to void it? Do I tell her to void it? No, because you're not logistic links. They made a contract with um, Sean and logistic links. It's because they are contractually obligated to pick the car up. <sighs> Evans. Josh, let me call them to see if I can get Sean to tell them to drive the car. Because again, when you spoke to Sean, he said, yes, we can take both cars, right? Even though the car wasn't working. Yes. So, again, because he's a broker, he's not doing it with his trucks. He can't guarantee what the person that picks up the car is going to do because he doesn't know that person's schedule. The reason why they don't want to pick up the car that's not working is because they got other customers in between picking up your car and dropping it off. So... Sometimes they gotta move cars around if your car is not working. It makes it harder. That's why I asked you what they gonna do it even though the car wasn't working. All right. All right, Evans. So let me call Sean. Okay, call him real quick before this dude come and try to leave off. All right. All right. Well, I told her to call the driver and tell him to wait. Okay. So, so just over there, actually, did um, Jane call because she spoke to your agent. And, um, you gotta wait till we call them back. Okay. So, we solved it out. We figured it out. We are going to have the baby AMG shipped for... Actually, not that bad because, like Evans explained, I'm gonna double book it. Evans, thank you to Evans. I don't know what I would do without Evans. Talk to her let her realize that I'm not the double booked broker i'm the customer and she understood she wanted to honor the agreement so she just decided to ship my car to california in closed for a thousand dollars this whole situation is complete and the amg is going to michigan so we'll see it when it get there man
it's gonna work out. I can't stress. Don't think about it. It's God's plan. And it's all gonna work out. But I feel bad for turning up. Actually, I feel like I was pretty polite. Because usually, like I did like last a little bit. I wanna work on that. Because if you angry, that allow people to have control over you. But I think I did pretty good with staying calm. Usually I start cussing up a storm and everything, but I stayed calm and just spoke a little more assertive. So I'm happy that my being mean and stuff, but I feel like I was being too mean, man. And I feel bad, cause like he said, he is just a driver. But I thought they was trying to get over on me, but turns out it was the broker's fault. <sighs> Crazy, man, I feel bad, I'm sorry. But um, I think I was just assertive though. I did way better than I used to. Y'all watch my old videos. I used to be cussing out police and everything. Blake, shout yourself out. Shout yourself out for him. <laughs> watch. <laughs> Look up Josh Laurent on YouTube. Josh Laurent on YouTube. And you gonna see yourself soon. I think I did better. Held my own, held my ground. But now we gotta worry about this thing. Whew. How long was I gone for? Hour? About an hour, hour and a half. So, turns out, this whole situation is the broker's fault. Cause she, so the lady that was calling me, that's the dispatch for them, thought I was the broker. That's why she wasn't understanding me. That had my agent call her. And then she understood. So now she honoring the deal. They aren't gonna take this one, but they're gonna take the other one just for a thousand. Yeah, so. Dude, I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> and yep. Shout out to No Limit Man for the experience. Josh? Yep. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Good. And the AMG will get picked up on Monday. So we won't see it before we leave. This is the last look, but let me make sure I put that key back in there. Yeah, I'll put the key back in the car. Yeah, we go. What up? Hey, sorry. What up, rich man? How's it going? Dang! New <laughs> pants! New t Ferris Rich! I'm trying to be like you. I got same fit on for yesterday, but y'all ain't see that. Adam has a boat, and he invited us on his boat. So we finna go on the boat. Man, oh man. Y'all tell it's been a long day. I'm chilling, man. Hoodie's on for Trayvon today. So go down and smash the like button if you haven't already. But, yeah, so Adam got a boat. He invited us on the boat. Look at Ferris. Brand new man. Of course. Hallelujah. Thank, thank the Lord. Yeah, we come a long way. Man, we coming a long way, Ferris. We coming a long way. I like that. But, um, that whole situation... Do we go this way? That way? But <clears throat> I ain't just gonna cut to nighttime randomly without addressing that. That whole situation happened for a reason, same squad. And I was talking to uh Sean, OJ Logistics, we were just talking about everything and it, it was it was all for a reason. I'm not upset at it or anything. Just a big, I guess, miscommunication and yada yada and all this stuff but i'm not mad about it big amg get picked up on monday little amg is on the way so it's cool the lady was nice and on the whole thing i'm saving money I'm saving like two thousand dollars too so that ain't bad at all that's that's pretty solid so we chilling Andy. Uh, Andy ain't coming. Andy's in love. Yeah. he's not coming uh-uh he was sadie bro you for real yeah, he said, we're just going to chill here. What a lame. <laughs> <laughs> lame. <laughs> but yes, yeah, A-Squad, uh, it was all for, it all happened for a good reason. 
And I think I'm starting to understand the end of a whole era. But anyways, after that whole stressful earlier in the day. Let's just enjoy this time, enjoy these vibes. So go down and smash the like button. We got everything situated, everything handled. It's gonna be good. We're gonna see the babies, the AMGs, back at home. Carson's probably the only one that has to worry about that. Yeah. Pour right up like see ya. No, I don't wanna be 